If I had to share something with my younger self, it would be to be patient and know that it's going to be okay. Back in 2012, 2016, when I first was facing these challenges, the fear of the unknown, never having done a dialysis treatment, not knowing what to expect of kidney disease, not knowing all of the changes, the lifestyle changes that I would have to make. So just understanding that with time, things will come. You will understand, you will grow, um, and you'll be able to process all that is involved in this journey because it really is, it, it becomes a journey. Definitely standing up for yourself. I, I don't want to say hospitals disregard people because they don't, but we have a doctor shortage here in the States. We have a doctor and a nurse shortage. People are going to fall through the cracks. You have to make sure that you are not someone who's going to fall through those cracks. So I would definitely say educate yourself and make sure you know what having your disease means and what your treatment plan is going forward. Whatever issue you have that you're diagnosed with, be your own advocate. Try to have family members that will advocate for you. Strength in numbers. People that care will do what they can to help you. And my wife and family are prime examples of that. They will do whatever they can to make your life better. To me, a good care team is having doctors and nurses and other healthcare staff that are patient focused. We are dealing with a disease and you are helping us, you know, in the treatment of that. But we're all individual people. We all, you know, tolerate things differently. And so having a care team that involves you in the process of your care, I'm the expert on me. You may be the expert on the medicine, on the kidneys, but I'm the expert on me. 